clutch what is a clutch clutch is a mechanical device it is widely used in automobiles to engage or disengage the power from the engine to the rest of the system this clutch is uh, located in between the engine and the transmission system when the clutch is engaged the power is transmitted to the wheels if it is disengaged the power is not going to transmit to the rest of the system or not transferred to the wheels so when we want to change the gears or when we want to uh, change the speed we are going to disengage the power from the power source through clutch then change the gear then we are going to engage the power system with the uh, wheels so what are all the important parameters in uh, clutch design since it find it found application in automobile it's necessary to understand the various uh, forces acting on the clutch plate various uh, uh, design aspects that ought to be considered in the clutches for our understanding purpose or for our design purpose let us consider a single plate clutch which is having two frictional surfaces with the uniform pressure uh, maintained at uh, with a uniform pressure p and with an axial thrust of w the front view of the clutch plate is shown in the second diagram here the outer radius of the clutch plate is indicated as r1 inner radius is indicated as r2 the mean radius of the clutch plate is indicated as r as r for our analysis purpose or for our design purpose we are going to take a small elementary strip on the contact surface with radius d r here we are going to consider how much frictional force is created what is the frictional torque that is going to be created from the frictional torque we are going to calculate or we are going to determine what is the total amount of torque that is uh, uh, transferred that is created on the clutch plate for our design purpose let t is the total torque transmitted by the clutch p is the intensity of axial pressure r1 and r2 or the external and internal radius of the frictional faces or is the mean radius of the frictional face and last mu is the coefficient of friction because in uh, engaging and disengaging of the clutch plate with the power source friction plays a main role therefore here we are going to consider the coefficient of friction also in today's in this video we are going to analyze or we are going to uh, calculate the torque created on a single plate clutch what is a single plate clutch or uh, what is the how this clutch uh, single plate clutch is operated these type of clutches are mostly used in uh, motor vehicles uh, this clutch consists of clutch shaft clutch spring pressure plate friction lining and bearing when the clutch is engaged the clutch plate is gripped between the flywheel and the pressure plate therefore due to friction the clutch plate and shaft both or gets revolves when the clutch pedal is pressed the pressure plate moves back against the force and the clutch plate becomes free then we are going to change the uh, speed here for our design purpose we are going to consider the elementary spring d with a radius d r area of this elementary spring is uh, given as 2 pi r d r the uh, normal force which is acting on the surface of the elementary spring uh, delta w is equal to pressure into area here we are going to consider pressure as p and area 2 pi r dr after calculating the normal pressure on the elementary spring 
we are going to calculate the frictional force acting on the uh, ring. Frictional force given as FR is equal to coefficient of friction into normal force. Coefficient of friction is given as mu and normal force is uh, calculated as uh, delta W. Therefore, frictional force FR is equal to mu P 2 pi R dr. Now, frictional torque. What is the total amount of torque that is created on the ring? Uh, the total torque uh, acting on the ring is given as TR. TR is nothing but F force into perpendicular distance. FR value already we calculated mu P 2 pi R dr and the perpendicular distance value given as R. Therefore, the total frictional torque acting on the spring TR is equal to 2 pi mu P R square DR. Design of single plate clutch consists of uh, or uh, uh, it calculated based on two assumptions. One is when there is a uniform pressure and another one when there is a uniform wear. When we are going to use a new clutch, then we are going to consider uniform pressure. When we are using uh, old clutch, we are going to consider uniform wear. For uh, today's class, today's class, we are going to consider uniform wear. For uniform wear, the intensity of pressure varies inversely with the distance. The pressure is not going to same throughout the surface. The pressure varies based on the distance. Therefore, pressure into radius is equal to constant. The pressure into distance at any point is equal to constant. Here we have, uh, we had uh, two radius R1 and R2. Therefore, P1 R1 is equal to P2 R2 is equal to C constant. Similarly, we can take Pn Rn is equal to constant, where P1 and P2 are the intensity of pressure at the distance of R1 and R2 respectively. So after determining the pressure, we are going to calculate the normal force acting on the surface of the ring. Delta W is equal to pressure into area. Here pressure is P, area is equal to 2 pi R dr. Here we are going to substitute the value of P in this equation. We are getting delta W is equal to 2 pi C into dr. Instead of P, we are going to substitute C by R. This R and this R gets cancelled. Then the final equation delta W is equal to 2 pi C into dr. Total force acting on the frictional surface. So far we have calculated the force acting on the elementary spring. From the elementary spring, uh, we are going to calculate the total force acting on the total surface. W is the integration of R2 to R1, 2 pi C dr or integration of 2 pi C dr within the limits of R2 and R1. Here, 2 pi C is constant. We are taking it out. When we are going to integrate uh, uh, dr, we are getting r by 1, which is equal to r. Substituting the limits, we are getting 2 pi c r1 minus r2. For understanding purpose, here I am going to write the values. We are taking the constant values out. 2 pi c is constant. We are taking it out. And integration of r2 to the uh, r2 to r1 here we are getting dr. Therefore, this is equal to 2 pi c bracket r to the power r2 and r1. So, we are going to substitute instead of r, we are going to substitute r1 and r2. So, w is equal to 2 pi c r1 minus r2. c is equal from this, we are going to calculate the c constant value c is equal to w divided by 2 pi r1 minus r2. Frictional torque. We have already calculated the frictional torque T suffix R is equal to 2 pi mu P R square dr. Instead of P R, we are going to substitute C. Therefore, the final equation will become T R is equal to 2 pi mu C R dr. This is the frictional torque that is created on the elementary.
strip but we have to calculate the total torque that is created on the total surface so we are going to integrate the value integration of 2 pi nu c or dr within the limits r2 and r1 here 2 pi mu c is a constant value we are taking it out when you're going to integrate r with respect to dr we are getting r squared by 2 within the limits r2 and r1 substituting the values r1 and r2 we are getting the equation as t is equal to 2 pi we are getting the value as 2 pi mu c r1 squared minus r2 squared by 2 we have already calculated the uh, value for constant c yeah before that we are going to uh, remove this two and this two then the equation will become t is equal to pi mu c r1 squared minus r2 squared and the constant value we have already calculated in the previous slide t is equal to pi mu w by 2 pi r1 minus r2 into r1 squared minus r2 squared this r1 squared minus r2 squared can also be written like this which is a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b into a minus b here when we are going to substitute r1 plus r2 into r1 minus r2 uh, this r1 minus r2 and this r1 minus r2 will get cancelled then we are getting the equation as t is equal to 1 by 2 mu w r1 plus r2 or mu w r where r1 r is equal to r1 plus r2 divided by 2 this torque is used in calculating the power when considering uniform wear in analytical problems if new clutch is given we are going to consider uniform pressure if old clutch is given we are going to consider uniform wear uh, apart along uh, along with this torque equation we have some other factors also various service factors are also to be considered in the clutch design first one driver dynamic factor k1 driven dynamic factor k2 wear factor k3 and frequency of operation factor k4 these factors are going are used while we are calculating the cross section of the clutch otherwise we are not going to use all these service factors in the next video we are going to discuss about the design of single plate clutch when considering uniform pressure if you have any doubts in this video uh, post your uh, queries on the comment box and also you are requested to introduce this video to your friends also thank you